What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about fractional silver coins. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course, we have some precious metal theme t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, a ton of other products, which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And for the next three days, you can get the Can't Stop Stack and Won't Stop Stack and t-shirt and hoodie for a limited time. We're bringing it back to the store and then Sunday night it's being removed. So get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk a little bit more about some 90% junk constitutional silver. Now I'm sure many of you have already seen the video that I posted a couple of days ago where I found this little bottle while cleaning out a house. It says, do not use silver bunch of junk silver inside of it. If you want to know exactly how much I found, go check out that video. But in today's video, I want to talk about the fractional silver aspect of 90% junk constitutional silver, whatever you want to call it. So sitting here in front of me, we have a half dollar, we have a quarter, and we have a dime. To be more specific, the Walking Liberty half dollar, Washington quarter, and a Mercury dime. Now, in addition, I also have a Silver Eagle, which just so happens to be my favorite silver coin in the world. But back to the fractional silver aspect. I've talked about this in the past, but it's actually one of my favorite things to talk about, especially when it comes to silver coins. As I've always said, I've said it in almost every junk silver video I've ever made, I'm not the biggest fan of junk silver. I think it's cool, I think it's interesting. It's fun to learn about different points in history, and it's definitely cool having silver in my possession. However, I've always felt as though holding onto these coins just feels like I have spare change in my pocket. It doesn't feel as significant or substantial as a 3-9's fine or a 4-9's fine pure silver coin. But I understand the importance of diversification, and I understand the importance of being able to quote-unquote break an ounce or make change for an ounce. So as I've said in previous videos, the silver half dollar right over here, You can think of it as a one-third of an ounce silver coin. It would take about three of these to equate to a troy ounce of silver. So, let's just say spot price were to do something crazy. Let's just say, arbitrary number, goes up to $60 an ounce for silver. You may or may not have a hard time breaking an ounce, finding someone who's willing to fork over $60 for an ounce of silver. But this right here would be about $20. So I just think it's an interesting way of viewing 90% junk constitutional silver, not to mention silver quarter right here in the middle, can be seen as one-sixth of an ounce of silver. It would take about six silver quarters to equate to roughly a troy ounce of silver. And then as for silver dimes, one fourteenth of an ounce of silver, just about. It would take 14 of these bad boys, let me get it in focus, to equate to a troy ounce of silver. So, 
I've taken the liberty to get some more junk silver to show you guys. Unfortunately, I do not have any more half dollars on me. These are just a portion of the coins that I found that I keep in here. So I did a little bit of counting. This right here, a stack of seven. Here's one on top of this one. Here's another stack of seven. This right here, 14 silver dimes. 14 of them right here. So as I was saying, this right here is about a troy ounce of silver. Mercury dimes and Roosevelt dimes. Same thing when it comes to the weight, at least. Now these right here, as I said before, six quarters equate to approximately a troy ounce of silver. So this right here, I'm holding on to an ounce of silver. This is pretty much the same as this right here. Now, like I said, I do not have any more half dollars on me. All of these coins right here are coins that I found that day that I cleared out the house. The rest are all in here. So obviously, I found multiple ounces of silver. I mean, this right here, two ounces of silver. Two and a third, you could say, sitting right here in front of me on camera. Plus plenty more that I found for free. I did not convert my dollars into this. I found all these, all this silver. So as I said in the previous video, it's like buried treasure. And I'm curious, everybody watching this right now, how do you view 90% junk constitutional silver? Because I get a lot of comments from a lot of different people hundreds and hundreds, sometimes thousands of comments a week. And oftentimes I'll see someone say something along the lines of that they do not stack junk silver at all. They stay away from it because maybe they prefer pure silver like I do, even though pure silver is my preference and the foundation of my stack. I understand the importance of fractional silver coins such as the one-third of an ounce, the one-sixth of an ounce, and the one-fourteenth of an ounce. But I also get comments from people saying that they do not stack pure silver. They only stack 90% chunk constitutional silver. So where do you stand when it comes to these silver coins? Do you prefer pure silver like I do? Maybe that's all you stack. You refuse to stack junk silver. Maybe you only stack junk silver and you refuse to stack pure silver. Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. The link will be in the description. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, so help us out. And if you want to support the channel in the biggest possible way, Please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs. We have a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. And of course, for a limited time only, only for about two and a half days, you can get the DYDSS Can't Stop, Won't Stop t-shirt and hoodie available in both black and white. It's being removed from the store Sunday night, so get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, please head on down to the comments and let me know 
where you stand when it comes to silver coins. Do you like that pure silver, that three nines fine, that four nines fine silver? Do you like the one ounce increments? Or do you like the 90%? Or do you like both? And how do you view constitutional silver? Do you see it the way I see it? Fractional silver coins? Low premium fractional silver? Third of an ounce, sixth of an ounce, fourteenth of an ounce. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.